Hi, Sean, how are you? Fantastic. Oh, that's good. You are fantastic, I've got to tell you. Great to be here. Now, um, onion jam is one of those delicious things that if ever I go to a market or any kind of a, an event mm. like that, I buy jars of it because you can put it onto steak. You it's can, addictive. It's so good and it makes such a difference mm. to dishes. But do you know I've actually never made it and really wouldn't know how? It it's does a, seem quite hard. Today is your lucky day. Great! And it's very, very simple. You it's um, it. it's one, of the, one of the easiest condiments to make. Oh, it's delicious. The only, the mm. only thing I will say is that oh my gosh. it requires an investment of time. Okay. So, I can do so, that. So, you know, you, it, it's one of those things that you've got to you've got to watch and you've got to stir, but the basis of it is so simple. Mm. So, to kick it off, we'll show you our um, plethora of ingredients. Mm. This is this is what you need to make onion jam. Red onions, red wine vinegar, mm -hmm. and sugar. That's that, it. That's it. You can substitute. You can do that. You can use um, if you wanted to use a balsamic to get that flavour. Mm -hmm. I quite like. Um, the, the red wine vinegar, it's, it it's has a slightly um, less sweet flavour, mm. but you know, you can mix and match it. Okay, so, first step, we've got our onions. We've got to chop these babies up. Red onion always? Well, you, you know, you can use white, uh, white onions. I actually like using red onions, I find them a little bit um, sweeter. I find mm. the, the flavours a little bit more delicate. And the colour. And also the colour. Mm. So, um, you'll find that the quantity that you make, uh, I would choose more onions than what you think because when it cooks down, it'll really, really cook down. Yeah, so, they cook down to nothing, you know, don't they? One kilo of um, red onions, you're probably looking at maybe 200 grams oh. of onion jam. So, so how many onions would be in this? It's probably about four or five onions in there. Gosh. So it really does cook down. Okay. And if you're going to so, make it, just make a lot. Biggest pot you've got, mm. uh, and that's actually important as well. Mm. So that you have, because we cook at a very gentle heat. Mm. So it's a slow heat, so you want as much of the onions touching the bottom of the pan, touching the heat source mm. at one time. And you're stirring con continually. Mm. Cutting up the onions, we take the, uh, take the, the core out. Uh, I like to cut mine um, basically uh, across the grain. Mm, so it's not too long and stringy when it comes yeah, out. Yeah, so. Sorry, when I'm talking sorry. to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, you do not need to look and talk. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. It's, um, it's all hand fit. Oh my gosh, look, you can chop and not look. <laughs> Scary. Look at the chef's Just kidding. <laughs> Lucky I've got insurance. <laughs> okay, um, we're chopped. Now, one question. Yeah. At your restaurant, who's the poor schmuck that has to do this for a living? Well, you know, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the first time that we made um, made it in the restaurant was me. So, oh. but um, look, you know, it's one of those things. I actually don't mind doing large, rep rep repetitious um, talk quickly jobs like this. Be starting to water <laughs> because you know, it's how you hone your skills. Yeah, you know, the reason why. I'm good with a knife is oh, because yeah. I've chopped a million onions up. Yes. So, you know, it, it, that's how you get good at things. Yeah. You, know, you, you, you repeat it and um, and it's not a, it shouldn't be a mundane task. You know, things like this in the kitchen, they're a process. It's not about the mundane task, mm. it's about the eyes watering. Yeah, they're hardcore. <laughs> you know, break out the goggles. Yeah. Okay. So. Beautiful. I like your chopping style. I'm going to start crying as well. <laughs> yeah. We just want to put this straight onto the stove on a low heat and just let it to start steam and tick away. At this stage, you can put a lid on there just so that the, the steam starts to soften down the onions. And <laughs> we're crying. We've got to... Let's just take a minute. <laughs> take a minute. Yeah. That's so beautiful, Sean. This recipe. <laughs> now, before I start really, really crying... I'm with you. <laughs> Um, let's get it onto the stove top and okay. do you put any oil in it? No, in? no, you just want to let the, uh, the natural moisture that's in the onions right. start to steam and, and start to soften it. You know, 
we don't need to add oil to this. Oh. We don't want it to be oily. So um, yeah, good point. You know, it's not necessary. Okay. We'll get it on the stove. All right, our, our onions have sweated down. There's not really any colour on them as they yet. They look like they've got oil in it because yeah. they're so kind of gleam, gleaming. So <clears throat> at this stage, we want to put in our vinegar mm -hmm. and we also want to add just a little tiny bit of our sugar. Mm. Um, it's important that you don't add too much of either. Okay. So just a touch. So that's only about a tablespoon. About a tablespoon for that amount. Okay. But, you know, if we're making a decent size. Yeah, I would have right? gone berserk and pulled yeah. the whole thing in. Look, you, you can always add more, but you can't take it out. Yeah, so true. The same with the sugar. Now, I'm only going to put in a teaspoon. A teaspoon. There's a lot of natural sugars in the onions. Yeah. So it's really just to give them a bit of a, I guess, a kick start, mm. so to help them along. And, and you were saying before um, that you can use some pomegranate molasses, which seems to be the Absolutely. The flavour of the month. The flavour of the month. You know, flavour of the month for, for, for an ingredient that's been around for a thousand yeah, years. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, it's the old saying, there's nothing new in food, only mm, rediscovery. Yeah, so, that's right. You know, pomegranate molasses, exactly the same. It's got a nice high sugar content. Mm. It also has that nice tart flavour that's similar to the, to mm. the uh, red wine vinegar. Perfect substitute. Well, I have some in my pantry from Bass Foods and I just didn't really know what to do with it. So I'll definitely put Absolutely. some in and see how it goes. Would Fantastic. I just put like a teaspoon in? or Once again, yeah, just be a um, bit. just a little bit to start with. Once it cooks down a bit more, have a taste. Yeah. And think, oh, do I want it to be a little bit sweeter? But always remember that the longer you cook it, mm. the more natural sugars are going to be released by the onions. Right. So even if you wait right until the end when you think, right, that's done, mm. taste it then, and then you can finish it off with a little bit more and cook it through. Yep. Okay. So we'll put this back on the stove now. And the important thing is, because we've added some sugar, we've mm. added the vinegar, we need to keep a good eye on it so that it, it might stick. Yeah. So back on the stove, and then we'll see. And what how it's... long do you think it'll take from here on in? Well, if we're making a big batch, yeah. a small amount like this, mm. probably we'll be able to knock over and probably half an hour to 40 minutes. Okay. But if we're making a big batch, the key is slow temperature. Yeah, right. As low as you can set your, your gas rings or, or your hot plate and just let it tick away. Let it tick away and, and keep stirring it, taking it away from the bottom of the pan. Mm. Fantastic. Let's get it back on the stove. All right. Oh. Okay, we're just about there. You know, we, we could oh, continue. Oh, smells amazing. It's fantastic. Mm. Now we could continue cooking that down a bit more if we wanted to. But it's got a bit of oomph about it now. It has, you know, you, you, the, the, the colours there, the, the, you know, the nice caramelisations yeah. come through. And it's still got a bit know. of shape to it. We've been tasting it, mm. so you know, we've, we've added a little bit more vinegar, uh, a tiny little bit more sugar. We have it been didn't, tasting it. It didn't need much more than what we put in originally. You know, a lot of the sugars have been released mm. by, the, by the onions. And uh, you know, it's, it's ready to go. Now yeah. You can use that hot, you can use it cold, it's a great condiment. Mm. You know, it's the sort of thing you can use with, you know, crostini, with a little mm. bit of goat's cheese. You can use it with, you know, Fish. it's endless. It's mm. endless. You know, a great condiment for steaks, you know, and Hamburgers. so cheap, so easy to make. Yes. It's just a little bit of um, time and invest. Uh, that's that's really your own time that you're investing. Yeah. And to be honest, it it, it teaches you patience in cooking, which yeah. is um, is something that a lot of chefs these days um, have like left me. behind. And my last question is, Sean, yep. how long can I keep this in my fridge in an airtight container? Okay, if, uh, if you're going to make a, a decent sized batch at home, mm. I would suggest that uh, you just pop into one of your local um, cooking stores, grab the, um, you know, the pressurised um, glass containers that have the lid with the catch. Oh, okay, yeah. pressurised yep. container. Yep. Um, st clean those out, uh, boiling water, mm -hmm. so they're sterile. And you, know, you could seal this, put it in the fridge, Three months, six mm. months, you know it's. And once it's been opened, how long will it keep? Once again, you know you'll get at least at least a week to two weeks. Mm. You know, you've got to think there's 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 a lot of sugar in there. There's yeah. vinegar. They're natural preservatives. Yeah. It's it's already, you know, protected by those by those ingredients. Yeah. And, and the cooking process, it's been slow cooked at you mm. know, at, at over 100 degrees mm. for a very long time. Mm. As long as the, the container yep. that you're storing it in is safe and sterile. Yep. It'll last you a very long time. Excellent. Well, so, thank yeah. you so much. I'm so glad I know how to make this. I've always wanted to know, so thank you. Fantastic. Great. Excellent.